I'm using the OVL zoom eyepiece. Visually, it's superb. The view is almost equal to viewing to a Pentax or um, Delos. You can see so many details. Video is not good enough because it's not attached to it. But I can tell you that this eyepiece is superb. And I've used it and compared it with the um, other Hyperion Zoom Mark IV. And I found this was equal, and in some on the Jupiter, it was definitely better than the uh, Mark uh, IV Hyperion Zoom eyepiece. So, really impressed about this 35 found. That zoom I piece second hand was or fourth hand was one hundred forty. Everybody bought it and just passed it to other one because it was not good. Uh, that was one sample I've seen and but this one is really impressive. I've used it and it's really good. Thirty five pound from the Northern Optics. Really impressed and I'm using this with the Sculpture eight eighty Pro series. And and the uh, F sixteen six and a half and that's the planet Jupiter if I can show you above that tree you cannot see it probably yeah you see it now I'll bring it at the center you can see it now I zoom on it so which quality is superb. This eyepiece, OVL zoom eyepiece, 8 to 8 millimeters and 24 millimeters. So I'm observing with this OVL. I've also observed with this uh, eyepieces, Pentax 3.5 millimeter, uh, XW of course, uh, Morpheus 6.5, Teleview 10 millimeter, Delos, and Pentax. Uh, um, Six millimeter and uh, sorry, this is a uh, Vixen SLV uh, six and five millimeter eyepieces. This Vixen SLV six and five are called equal almost to Pentax XW. I can say that, yeah, they are good, very good quality and uh, around uh, 100 pounds cheaper, more than 140 pounds cheaper. Depending, if I got it second hand, so this didn't cost me more than forty pound. That one, around the same. Uh, Delos, very good, but that ten millimeter when I bolted it to five, it was not any better than the Morpheus. Morpheus was good. The Pentax XW three and a half millimeter, although had the lowest f number, uh, focal length number than all of them, was actually the best. The image quality was in this one best. But with this one, nothing short of that. It could easily com uh, compete with any of them. Beside that, it was, of course, you can have 24 millimeter. That means really low magnification of 20 times up to the magnification of 60 times. Of course, this is an OVL one. Uh, that's 8 millimeter to 24 millimeter. 8 millimeter gives the highest magnification. I borrowed it to 4 millimeter. With this um, bowler that I have here, very good quality. It's like a Takahashi bowler. These are Celestron uh, Ultima. It's like a Takahashi. These are the series that I have Ultimas. Even the optically and structurally look like a bowl, um, uh, Takahashi LE. So this one versatile, you don't need to change anything, you just turn it. This one, when you're using and changing between different magnifications, there's a risk that one of them may fall. This one fell a little bit, you see a little bit notch here. Notch now, there's a big discoloration. And these things fell on here, but they're too tall, you know, the base of them is not very wide. So one day they have to find a solution for these eyepieces. Something to make a base a little bit wider. But uh, so far, so Pentox was the best, best views.
neutral views. Then Morpheus, then Barlow, this one. Five and six millimeter SLV Vixen. A really good, comparable to this. But uh, yeah, I prefer this because when I'm sitting, and you see I'm sitting on a chair, the telescope becomes very high when you use this. It's too high. And this one is almost half of that size and it's easy to, you know, because the planets are so close to the horizon at this time of the year. You see the more um, Saturn there, or oh, is it now? That's the Jupiter, you see it there, so close to the horizon. So when I'm sitting, the telescope is almost horizontal. So I have to really rise when, I, when I'm sitting, that's, that's not comfortable. So <laughs> just I'm doing the most comfortable position for viewing. So I feel that these ones actually don't push, put me under pressure to observe so which one I prefer uh, OVL I prefer it because of the comfort finder and then higher planetary IPS then I prefer these ones then these ones if I had to choose between all these three 72 degrees 76 degrees and 70 degrees the one I would go for is this one or this one if I'm short of cash I would go for the Morpheus I may get a Morpheus four and a half millimeter these ones are really comfortable to use, equal to a Pentax in the way. But that is three and a half millimeter of this is better than this five or six millimeter of that. So, and definitely better than this two in this range that I'm using, of course, with the telescope that I'm using, it's called Watcher ED80. So, so far so good. I made another comparison between some planetary eyepieces and I think that uh, getting the OVL for £35 was a really good decision given the versatility of having a wide field at the same time without changing the eyepiece and risking falling the eyepieces I can just change it to planetary eyepiece if I want I can borrow it the only nag is that this is will be too high compared to this one So, five eyepieces compared with one zoom eyepiece, OVL. OVL is the same as the Skywatcher. It's an importer, a UK distributor importer of the Skywatcher. The interesting thing about this um, Olivon zoom eyepiece, you see a specification SHR zoom eyepiece 8mm to 24mm is that it's a factory deal stock this is a second hand this product is well used and or returned with faults which have been rectified it has cosmetic damage and or flaws I never so noticed any any cosmetic damage or anything so that's amazing for such a, such a eyepiece I'm surprised.